The entire point of Johnny Bravo is that he doesn't get laid. He is not a himbo, and I will not tolerate people saying he is. Himself. I hate to break this to you, pal, but Johnny's creator says he does get laid off screen, but any success he receives on the show isn't comedic, so they don't talk about it. He's Schrodinger's himbo. He was literally thrown into a volcano as a virgin sacrifice, and the volcano spat him back out. Can't believe Johnny Bravo got slut-shamed by a volcano. What Greek goddess is known for being the most beautiful? Don't ask me this. This is how the Trojan War started. I don't want this, man. Right away, Aphrodite popped into my head. And then I'm just like, damn it, did you learn nothing from Paris? You are an embarrassment, and now all the Trojans are dead. I hope you're happy. If you are ever actually in this situation, pro tip, name Persephone. Half the goddesses will be too surprised to smite you immediately. And while Hades won't do you any favors, he may at least high five you while you're on your way down. Another tip, name Asperian. Not only will you shock everyone, including her, since Aphrodite was a jealous hoe who burnt half her face off, but you'll won Hades' favor. As his most beloved daughter, anything that praises her will make you a kind human to her, an okay human to him, and a genuinely good person to anyone else. I heartily endorse this alternative answer. This is the dude that hired the clown. I love that you can just say, this is the dude that hired the clown, and everyone immediately knows what you're talking about. About to be sacked from work, can I hire a clown to support me in my meeting? I fucked up at work and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be sacked. They've invited me in for a meeting where they're gonna sack me. They told me I can bring someone to support me. I wanna hire a clown to support me. I'll get him to blow balloon animals into mime stuff. Can I do this? Can they stop me? Man being fired brings emotional support clown to meeting. Snowflake students claim Frankenstein's monster was misunderstood and is in fact a victim. But that's, that's the book. That's what the book is about. Victor Frankenstein, I've created life, but I refuse to put any effort into helping that life develop. I won't teach him, love him, or defend him, even though I force him into existence with a fully operational adult brain law. Peace, bitch. The monster, I'm a eloquent baby. Boomers, he's not the victim, he's the monster. An ironic parallel concerning the idea of tough love parenting that plenty of boomers like to use. If they buy into the idea that their kids just have to toughen up and face the real world without guidance or emotional support, I'm sure it does scare them to read a story where someone who wasn't given any support began to resent their creator and turn on them. It's like that post that's like, knowledge is knowing that Frankenstein is the doctor, wisdom is knowing that Frankenstein is the monster. Like the whole point of the post is that Frankenstein's monster is a victim of Victor Frankenstein's own monstrosity. Mary Shelley did not lose her virginity on her mother's grave just for people to misunderstand her best known work over a century later. The last human died today in captivity. It was 137 years old. It passed away peacefully in its enclosure under a weighted blanket clutching a squishmallow, a type of pseudo companion favored by the infamously social human species. The last human's handlers are devastated despite knowing its end was near. The average lifespan of a human in the wild rarely exceeded 80 years. It always wanted to talk to me, one handler tearfully recounted. I'll never forget the smile it gave us every time we open up for morning feedings. It was like I was its best friend. It really made you feel special. Although the human long since been removed from public viewings, those who had been lucky enough to see it during its exhibition days are similarly saddened by the loss. I'll never forget, one former spectator said, going to see the human exhibition when I was young. I was oddly frightened, but I was pushed to the front of the crowd in all the madness. It was quite the spectacle to see a human back then. I don't know if it could sense my fear, but for a moment we made eye contact, and it waved at me. And I waved back. And it waved again, more excitedly this time. The former spectator chuckles. They had to drag me away from the exhibit after that. I could have spent hours just sitting there with that thing, making motions at each other. How amazing it is to be able to communicate with something so alien to you in such a simple way. Could you imagine if people talked about Catholicism the same way they talked about, like, indigenous people's religions? Girl in horror movie holding a Bible open. According to legend, a mob tortured a half-man, half-god and nailed him to a wooden cross, leaving him to starve to death. But days later, on this very night, they found he had clawed his way out of the grave. Now those who believe lie and wait for him to rise again. To honor him, they have weekly gatherings where they chant and sing, and at the end of it, they eat his flesh and blood. Girl's friend. Wow, that's so creepy. Horror movie jock. It's only a myth. Don't worry. I love the fact that this is insinuating that Jesus is going to try to kill these kids. Adults pretend to be teens in US shows. Adults pretend to be teens in European shows. Europe's got it in fucking spades. Look at the bafflement, the dishevelment, the utter chaos of that group energy. They know. They remember being a teenager. If Mario Kart was about pure driving, I would win every race. But unfortunately, my competitors insist on engaging in a great deal of unsportsmanlike behavior. This is what competitive Smash players sound like when you play with items on. 
Hands down, the funniest thing I have ever heard at college was overhearing the following sentence at a conference. I asked him what his pronouns were, and he said, Uh, PhD. You will refer to me as doctor and as doctor alone. Amazon Alexa is a colossal failure. On pace to lose $10 billion this year. Reblog to kill it faster. The report says that by year four of the Alexa experiment, Alexa was getting a billion interactions a week. But most of those conversations were trivial commands to play music or ask about the weather. Those questions aren't monetizable. So they didn't want people using the very things they advertise as being useful. The reasons you'd tolerate an always-on virtual assistant in your life? This is the kind of stuff the cyber dystopias never think to include. Spying on everyone couldn't make enough money, sad face. Like what? The report says that while Alexa's Echo Line is among the best-selling items on Amazon, most of the devices sold at cost. One internal document described the business model by saying, We want to make money when people use our devices, not when they buy our devices. They aren't losing money on the product itself, they're losing money they want to make after selling it, Lamau, boo fucking who? What's it with people calling Japanese characters from Japanese anime who live in Japan and speak Japanese and have Japanese names white? Seriously, if a character is supposed to be white, they will be named Whitey McWhiterson and wear an American flag, hoodie, shirt, pants, socks, underwear, and scream stuff in English every five seconds. Mess with Michael Bay and you mess with America. I want you guys out of my country by tomorrow morning. But this is Japan. Every country in the world belongs to America. I've binged like 14 hours of Resident Evil lore videos over the past few days, and I feel like I'm on the verge of some kind of severe mental break scenario. Male narrator in a completely flat voice. Umbrella kidnapped a bunch of specifically 18 to 24 year old males and saw their skulls open without anesthesia. This was to extract brain juices only produced during moments of high stress and fear which is necessary for the mass production of tyrants. While this was occurring, Leon S. Kennedy was in New Mexico fighting bad people. Me doing the dishes. That's real lore, by the way. Except for the part of Leon being in New Mexico. Yeah, sorry, my mistake. He fought the bat people in Nevada. Someone on r slash legal advice was sick of their coworker stealing their food out of the fridge, so they started labeling it poison, do not eat, and sharpie on both the bag and the food's wrapper every day, and the person still kept stealing it. So after a week, they added a bunch of laxatives to their food, and the thief had to go to the hospital and could possibly sue OP. The general consensus was that OP was technically objectively in the wrong from a legal standpoint, but there is 0% chance of them being convicted in criminal court because that would require finding 12 jurors who would rule in favor of someone stealing food labeled poison, do not eat, and then getting poisoned. Not guilty by reason of fuck that guy. Okay, all we need now is the passcode. Beep boop. Hey, I'll take your wrist for that. W wait, if you break my wrist, you'll definitely regret it. Ugh! Shut up and give us the passcode. There's two passcodes. The first is five, six, seven, eight. Beep boop. Huh? What? The second, Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. It's been years since I've first seen this comic and I still think it has one of the best punchline deliveries of anything I've ever seen. Eternal classic. Please, God above, can someone explain to me why we're still working on self-driving cars when trains exist? We're training them to interpret road signs. Train goes same place every day. No road signs. When forced to choose between old lady and child, which is more ethical for the car to hit? Fence around train track. Nobody on the road. People with disabilities preventing them from driving themselves can be independent, yes, but also train. Reduces the dangers of fatigue with long distance trucking. Train. The technology is not yet price effective for the average driver. Train. Seriously, come on, choo choo bitches, let's go. People who dreamt up flying cars have been too blinded by their vision to realize they've already been invented and even have a name. Helicopters. Same goes for the vague idea of pod-based transport. People just can't accept that the most efficient pods are big to accommodate the most people, linked together to minimize the amount of engines needed, and have been called trains for over a century. It is so funny when you're watching a show with horses in it, and within the plot of the show the horses are upset. But the way they communicate this is by placing a nervous nickering soundbite over what is clearly a calm horse placidly performing a practice trick. Like, clearly this is the correct and humane way to pretend a horse is upset and unhappy, but it's so funny. Like, this guy's ears aren't even pinned back. He's just vibing. Dude did the least amount of rearing to get his apple treats, and he can see his handler right behind the camera, already reaching into the treat bag. 
He's getting a good grade in being a good little boy, and his mommy is going to be so proud. See also, every scummy sewer rat uses set dressing in modern TV and film is a healthy, chubby little boy with a nice shiny coat because he lives a blessed little rat life full of fruits and nuts and tummy scritches. Or the big dogs in movies and TV that are growling and look angry, except for the good boy tail wagging, happy as a lark, or ready for treats for getting a good grade and being a big, bad, angry show doggy. This is funny. Like, really, really funny. I have Googled my life away. I have read Bible verses. I have studied the philosophical meaning behind the numbers. I have become a modern gallop trying to ask people to help me figure this out. What the fuck does it mean? Reblog when you get it. This is driving me crazy! What does it mean? A little girl and her mom were looking at me at the coffee shop this morning, and I heard her mom say, Go on, it's okay. And the little girl shuffled up to me and said, Excuse me, please. Do you have to put on your tattoos by yourself every day, or does your mom help you? I am dying! Straight people should have to wear visitor badges when they go to gay bars. Why are Het so mad at this post? I thought you didn't want to get hit on at gay bars. Here's a solution. Man eating rice, China, 1901-1904. This is an extremely important picture. I've never seen someone from 1904 having fun, oh my god. He has a nice face. No, but the history behind this picture is really interesting. The reason that everyone always looked miserable in old photos wasn't that they took too long to take. Once photography became widespread, it only took seconds to take a picture. It was because getting your photo taken was treated the same as getting your portrait painted. A very serious occasion meant so that your descendants would know that you existed and what you looked like. But one time some British dudes went to China and to go on an anthropological expedition, and they met some rural Chinese farmers and decided to take their pictures. Now, these people weren't exposed to the weird culture of the time around getting your photo taken, so this guy just flashed a big grin during the photo because he was told to strike a pose, and that's the pose he wanted to strike. Life advice. Never say anything to a penguin that the penguin has not already said to you. This reads like a shitpost, but I'm actually 100% serious. I was walking along the side of the harbor this evening, just after all the penguins had come in from the ocean to nest. There was one penguin right by the footpath, and when it saw me it kept saying, who? So I said, who right back? It seemed to like that, and we had a lovely conversation where we just kept saying, who to each other. I crouched down about two meters away from it, and we kept talking, and it actually moved towards me a little bit, seeming to prefer my company to the heartless embrace of the sea. But then I made the mistake of trying to change things up. I said, hue, which was something that a previous penguin said to me, and this penguin hated it. And fucked right off, never said another word to me. I felt so rude. Three different uncles at a barbecue. Cool uncle who smells like weed and lives in the woods, but the woods are just outside town and he works at a plan of fitness. Uncle who you always looked up to until you find out he's in a cult and is also homophobic, but says he's okay with the lifestyle. Mom's brother. Reverse Air Bud movie about a human basketball player who, on a technicality, enters and wins the Westminster Dog Show. It's 2009 and you're an advertiser who just got assigned this sweet job for a holiday commercial. You know, family stuff was always hard for you to write as an only child, but you really think you nailed the dynamic here. Now to submit the final cut to Folgers and... Setting up our Christmas tree, but it's made out of deer antlers. No animals were harmed. Had the odd audacity to say no animals were harmed, as if the antlers just fell out painlessly. Regardless of what you think of this tree, this comment was my favorite out of the collection of people who didn't know deer shed their antlers every spring. The Paris catacombs are a thousand times more fucked up than I imagined. Did you know the cops once found a fully functioning movie theater with a well-stocked bar inside the catacombs, and then when they tried to go back later to formally investigate, it was completely emptied out save for a note that read, don't search for us. Underground French cinema. Yes, but what a shame. What a shame the poor groom's bride is. Uh, Thor? Some people will have no fucking idea how funny this is if they haven't heard the story. I'm literally begging people to relearn how to use earbuds and headphones. I don't want to hear your fucking TikTok while I'm waiting for my flight. Listen, for all of y'all saying, I don't have headphones, or they're too expensive, then you need to wait until you're home. You're occupying a space that is not your own, and if you can't keep yourself from blaring the same 15 seconds of the same Dua Lipa song or whatever the fuck is the sound of the week until you get home, you have a problem. A problem you're making everyone else tolerate. 
read a book, scroll through Twitter, stare out the window. 100% this. Is it weird that I'd love to see all the various children of Dracula from media over the years in a sitcom as actual siblings, XD? Stop taking selfies. Mavis is going to jail. Depression. No do thing. Tired. Me. Okay, well, maybe if I go to sleep super duper early, I'll get a decent amount of sleep. Insomnia. You fool. You absolute goddamn idiot. Insomnia. You are awake. Me. Okay, well, maybe now I can get some stuff done. Depression. You fool. You absolute goddamn idiot. The point of officially naming a pet is not to actually use that name, but to have a baseline from which to come up with every conceivable nickname to call them instead. You bury a seed not because it looks nice in the dirt, but because the limbs that branch out will look nice in the sky. Congrats on contributing to the ancient Tumblr tradition of turning shitposts into profound poetry. Today I learned Charles Osborne had the hiccups non-stop for approximately 68 years, from 1922 to 1990. His hiccups first started in 1922 while weighing a hog for slaughter. He fell and busted a blood vessel in his brain, resulting in him damaging a small part of the brain that inhibits the hiccup response. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that the default is yes hiccups? And there's a part of the brain that's specifically designed to say no hiccups instead? You sound surprised that humans are so badly designed. There's a tortoise at work and he's 30 years old, and I love that he's 30 years old because I can look at this animal that is three years older than me and go, does the man want his happy slices? And he hustles over, cause the man do want his happy slices. You'll never be bioluminescent. Okay, this one hurt. Things I've seen on Tumblr and have never found again. Someone asks an artist, why do you always draw feet like that? And the artist doesn't understand that's literally just what feet look like and they go back and forth, artist versus Tumblr community, on whether the way they draw feet is normal, as the artist insists, or not, as the consensus agreed. The artist started asking whether this is some sort of prank. Did this many people really gang up just to try to convince them that the way they draw feet is weird? The disagreement continued, everyone else saying, no, you just draw feet in a weird way, and the artist insisting that they are just normal fucking feet, that their feet look like that, everyone in their family has feet like that, they are just normal goddamn feet and posted a photo of their own foot side by side with their drawing of a foot from the same angle. And it turns out that the artist and everyone in their family has a mild form of the same genetic foot arch deformity. Today I learned the collective nouns we use for animals, gaggle of geese, herd of deer, etc. mostly come from the Book of St. Albans published in 1486. It also included terms for professions such as a melody of harpists, a sentence of judges, and a superfluity of nuns. Wait. You're telling me the reason we call it a romp of otters or a murder of crows is just cause some jackass back in 1486 was just fucking making shit up? All words are made up. Conservative gamers are always like, why is every game woke nowadays? Why can't we have games like, insert the single most leftist game of its time anymore? After the revolution, they went door to door with a card. On it were three letters. Read it out loud. Jif. For some, that was all. The rest of us, we died with our honor. GIF stands for Graphics Interchange Format. When graphics is pronounced Jaffix, then I will pronounce GIF with a J. I am a drug combination expert. You want to see what it's like as the opposite sex for three hours? What being kissed by God feels like? You want the infinite experience of freedom? Knowledge of yourself? Eroticism that incinerates you? A simple good time? Forgetfulness? I'm your man. This guy created McAfee antivirus and then went completely off the rails, like absolute chaos. He got super rich, moved to Belize, was suspected of murdering his neighbor, fled Belize, had his location accidentally leaked by a vice journalist who was with him, LMFAO, was apprehended in Guatemala, faked not one but two heart attacks while in custody to buy time for his lawyer, was deported back to the US, and then ran for president as a libertarian. I wish Octopus could learn how to read. They could be pen pals with middle schoolers. Dearest Samantha, I do not know what a guinea pig is, but it sounds delicious. I hope you have fun devouring it, or playing with it if that is your preference. Today, I hacked a local computer to get more bubbles in my tank, and took a photograph of an unsuspecting victim. Do let me know how your human activities are going. And if this Karen continues to antagonize your brother, I would suggest smacking her very hard. And do send more canned snacks. Best wishes. Octopus number 5, Monterey Bay Research Aquarium. Zeus sent you a new message. 
Odin sent you a new message. What is this? A crossover episode? My advice to you? Run. Solution. Tell Zeus you'll agree to meet him, but only if he's in the guise of a swan. A very sexy swan. Tell Odin you will arrive in the form of a swan. Give them the same meeting location. Pop some popcorn and hide in the bushes. Loki? Is that you? I really think Rasputin lucked out, and that being remembered by history as some species of giant, unkillable sex wizard is something most of us can only fruitlessly aspire to. Gamer boyfriend yells, God damn it! from the other room and throws his headset, and you walk in all, oh, what's wrong, babe, sad face, and he's playing a story-driven indie game. Showing results for that one tiger from Zootopia who would treat me right. Y'all need God. Man, I couldn't do Twitter. On Tumblr, nobody gives a shit if you bully celebrities. On Twitter, it becomes a fucking national conversation for three days. Each day on Twitter, there is one main character. The goal is to never be it. My brother says shit happens in response to everything. My brother was given a shit happens mug because of this. My brother loved his shit happens mug like a child. Last week, my brother dropped his shit happens mug. You probably know what his reaction was. Any setting where the elves have weaker booze than the dwarves isn't committing to the bit. I mean, we're talking about people whose lifespan is yes. Oh, the weak wine? That is for children. I am 2,000 years old, and I dare say one sip from this highball would knock you on your ass for a week. Look, there's this weird thing people do with high fantasy where they want elves to be immortal and extremely long-lived snooty aristocrats, and also somehow incapacitated by imagining the taste of salt too hard. Orcs and dwarves have the hardest booze. No, they don't. They have work in the morning. In any of these settings, elves would pregame harder than Hobbit's party, and everyone else has shit to do tomorrow. The average high elf builds up the drug tolerance of a mid-70s Hollywood producer and then spends three centuries studying alchemy. While humans seek immortality, the immortals seek the elusive philosopher's cocaine. The end result of an elf experiencing hedonism is the Cenobites from Hellraiser. Punjab chief minister openly drinks glass of polluted water to prove water is clean, admitted to hospital. No, you know what? Respect. He put his mouth where his money is and experienced consequences immediately. Every American politician should be taking fucking notes and opt out of government health insurance. Out of pocket, you entitled fucks. The Punjab chief minister is more committed than you ever were. Too many people see evolution as just animals becoming better animals, when the truth is that there's a species of boar that evolved to die because its tusks grow into its skull because the male with the long tusks fuck the most. Dating tip. If a guy tells you he's not very political, He's conservative, but has learned that won't get him laid. Accurate. Inaccurate? When I say I'm not very political, it's because I'm not. I'm a libertarian that leans conservative, but politics bore me. The next post on this dude's blog is about how women are naturally inferior. Today I learned, while most countries place the currency symbol either before or after the amount, the Cape Verdean Escudo places its symbol in the decimal position. This is the only wrong way to do it. Panic really does turn you into a complete fucking moron, huh? To be clear, this is about time missions in video games. Me, knows full well where each button on the controller is, can press X without even looking for which one it is. Quick time event, press the X button. Me, oh god, oh fuck, the what? What happened to all the weeb girls lusting after Yaoi? They became K-pop fans. You ever see a post that just looks like someone swinging a bat at a hornet's nest? Unlike adult seals, baby seals are painfully aware that they were once land mammals, and must writhe around wretchedly beneath the agonizing weight of this incongruity until they can finally be reluctantly coaxed into the waves, at which point the ocean washes their souls clean of this knowledge like the blissful waters of Lethe. The really weird thing is sometimes I see videos of baby seals that get really excited, and you can see their legs making movements like they're trying to run, but their bodies aren't built to do that, at least not anymore. It's just so strange to me that they are born programmed to be able to run, even though they never have in this lifetime, nor could they. Is 450 90% of 500? No, 450 is not 90% of 500. To find 90% of 500, you can multiply 500 by 0 0.9, which gives you 450. Wait, actually, yes, 450 is 90% of 500. My apologies for the confusion. Man-made horrors beyond our comprehension. We finally have computers dumb enough to pass the Turing test. Sometimes I blow on my ice cream before I take a bite. I have no idea why. Brain. Food 
this very temperature. Also, Brain. Don't worry, learn from soup. Know what, do? This is the tone in which my brain talks about everything. We live in an age of regrettably half-assed insults. I would have done great at like 1654 where you could walk up to someone you don't like and just say shit like, how cruel can nature be that now age denies you wisdom as youth once forbade you beauty and get stabbed. First they phase out the 22 episode season, then they phase out the 13 episode season, and now they're phasing out the 10 episode season? Like, can you guys go watch fucking movies or something and stop trying to tighten television? We need to go back to more episodes because shows can't be action or drama all the time. There needs to be breathing room for both the audience and the characters. There need to be good filler episodes where the characters get to just have fun and develop outside of the main story. Side quests and downtime are important to storytelling. We need to see the characters be regular people with regular problems in between the big stuff. Glue brush pack. Sure. Oh yes, the glue brush. The brush made specifically to help me draw glue. For all the glue I plan on drawing. That glue brush. They're using it for what? Everybody lied to me when I got engaged. Being married is fucking great. There was a whole other person in my house and they love me. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? Tumblr culture is not knowing if this is from 2008 or earlier this week. Today I learned F. Scott Fitzgerald, author of The Great Gatsby, once showed Ernest Hemingway his penis and confessed his worry that it was too small to satisfy his wife Zelda. Hemingway kindly reassured him it was okay. Just kings being kings. Bro, I hate being an academic. They're making me write shit. I thought I was just supposed to sit in an old chair, smoke, and say something French every now and then. Am I having a stroke? Why are your eyes so long? I am... Consider this. Wheelchairs should be free. Consider this. If you need it to live, it should be affordable. Consider this. If you need it to live, it should be free. We've made flashlights, but we haven't made reverse flashlights. Artificial darkness would be funny as hell though. I'd love to beam a line of night directly into someone's face. Go with the void. I would have survived the movie Carrie because I simply wouldn't have bullied her. Me eating my prom meal while everybody is getting mass murdered because they couldn't leave that poor girl alone. Future apartment goals. Small but not cramped. Balcony. Has a bath and shower. Big kitchen. Good Wi-Fi. Big windows. Located close to a 24-7 corner store. The bar is so low. And yet it's nearly impossible. Today I learned King James IV put twin babies on an island to see if the children would speak the language of Eden. Children developed the communication method, but the experiment failed because no one else knew what the language of Eden sounded like. The Middle Ages, everyone. English kings really did have fuck all to do, didn't they? Leaving house. Good for depression, bad for anxiety. Staying at house. Good for anxiety, bad for depression. Standing directly in the doorway to achieve peak mental health. When I was in elementary school, I thought that the reason we were supposed to capitalize the first letter of people's names was as a sign of respect. So I always refused to capitalize the name of my fourth grade teacher or George Bush because I did not respect them. Lowercase. Derogatory. Unlikely simultaneous historical events. A poster on Reddit asks, what are two events that took place in the same time in history but don't seem like they would have? Spain was still a fascist dictatorship when Microsoft was founded. There were no classes in calculus in Harvard's curriculum for the first few years because calculus hadn't been discovered yet. Two empires, Roman and Ottoman, spanned the entire gap from Jesus to Babe Ruth. When the pyramids were being built, there were still woolly mammoths. The last use of the guillotine was in France the same year Star Wars came out. Oxford University was over 300 years old when the Aztec Empire was founded. I know it's less of a shock if you read His Last Bow, but it does blow my mind a bit that there's an entire collection of Arthur Conan Doyle home stories that were written and published after World War I. Comparing historical timelines is my favorite activity, friends. My personal favorite is that Victorian England, the American Old West, and the Meiji Restoration were all contemporary. You could have a proper Victorian gentleman, an American cowboy, and a dispossessed samurai sharing drinks at the same bar. And while this scenario would be unusual, it's not actually ahistorical. Naturally, this is most relevant if you're a gamer. Male behavior towards female gamers. A 2015 study found that lower skilled male players of Halo 3 were more hostile towards teammates with a female voice, but behaved more submissively to players with a male voice. Higher skilled male players, on the other hand, behaved more positively towards female players. The authors argued the male hostility towards female gamers in terms of evolutionary psychology, writing, 
Female-initiated disruption of a male hierarchy incites hostile behavior from poor-performing males who stand to lose the most status. Still the best gaming fact. Noted, misogyny is a skill issue. Shrek is a cautionary tale about how dating ugly, musty men because it's what's on the inside that counts will make you ugly and musty as well. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Facts only. Why the fuck am I seeing Shrek slander on my dashboard right now? Did any of you even watch the goddamn films? I can't believe this. You guys don't deserve Shrek. Fuck you. Fiona was already an ogre and was trying to hide that part of herself because her parents told her to be ashamed, but Shrek helped her accept that part of herself and become her true self unapologetically. Fuck you. OP is Lord Farquaad. Antarctica was just declared the world's first LGBT-friendly continent. Pack your bags, nerds. We're moving to Antarctica. The only LGBT-friendly continent is a frozen tundra that can barely sustain human life. Penguins can't be homophobic. It's scientifically impossible. Can they please make a dishwasher with a transparent door? I want to see what's going on in there. Washing machine. Open. Honest. Shows you how it's cleaning your clothes. Dishwasher. Mysterious. Untrustworthy. Keeps its cleaning methods a secret. My local rock station. You're listening to rock. Fucking rock. We're hard as shit. All the other stations are wimpy little snowflakes for not playing rock like we do. Hard rock. Rock and metal and fucking rock. Up next to 21 Pilots followed by Imagine Dragons. Went out for a Chinese meal with my family last night. At the end of the night, I was looking through the bill and found this. It's worth mentioning at this point that I told the staff I have a severe seafood allergy. No, no fucking shrimp but he died. This is what I'd call a responsible restaurant service. Well done. Arguing abortion laws with theology teacher? Theology teacher, I have never met a human being who wishes they were not born. Entire class bursts out in laughter. Gen Z culture is responding to, well, what if your mom aborted you? With, I wish she did. Years ago, my sister told me about how she used to play online survival games like Rust or something, etc. with her friends, and she'd go in voice chat with this over-the-top girly voice like, um, hey, I don't play video games much, and I really don't know what's going on, tee <laughs> Can anyone please come help me? I'm so confused. And then when some guy showed up, all her friends would swarm and kill. Siren. Are you okay? No, I'm living in a country run by fucking clowns. This is probably the most inclusive post ever made on Tumblr. What country is this about? Yes. So lady is a name and guy is a name. Can you imagine some couple who are just lady and guy? Like Lady Demetresque and Guy Fieri? Exactly like Lady Dimitrescu and Guy Fieri. Not surprised that you're a man considering how you care about your porn addiction more than the woman it hurts. Okay, you do understand that I'm gay, right? I can actually promise you that zero women are being exploited because of my crippling, life-destroying porn addiction. So you're putting women out of a job? These erasers couldn't even erase. Not meant to. They're meant to exist and bring delight, and they did. I'm a 27-year-old electrical engineer who works in a little secret lab in the middle of buttfuck Egypt. For one two-month period, the office supply order changed from normal erasers to these, and I will not lie, every time I thought I was alone, I would sneak one out of my desk and eat it. They looked delicious, tasted mid, but the appearance was so stunning that my brain just kept thinking, surely the rest were a fluke, but this time it will taste like fruit and sugar. Anyway, eventually the order stopped, and I was very worried that somehow they'd found out that I was eating their erasers so I kind of casually brought it up to my manager that I was sad that they swapped the erasers out, and he was like, yeah, but I kept eating them so they couldn't stay. Which one is a lie? I was a church organist, I made cereal with beer instead of milk, or I can hold my breath for 40 seconds. First one to answer right gets a free shitty drawing. The breath one is the lie. What do you want me to draw shittily? This is too much power, but I'll go with a Pikachu trying to murder Winnie the Pooh. And thank you. Fuck! I don't believe in God. Really, I don't believe in much anything at all. Moral is nothing but a sham packaged in narcissistic sentimentality. But not me. I am a realist. I am void. I am trigger. I take nothing from this work. Not pleasure, not even pride. Justification is a luxury I do not partake in. Just another face, just another name, just another day. I don't believe in God, but I do pray with every trigger that I pull. Not because I sympathize. I rid of that illness long ago. I believe, however, in hell. That's the thing. So I pray, may you rest in peace, motherfucker.
OP. You said shittily. Truck carrying gaming dice spills on a highway rolls a perfect 756,000. Though unfortunate it happened, nobody got hurt and we now own an unofficial world record for the largest dice roll in history. Okay, but this is the best part of this article. Considering the average roll of two six-sided dice is around seven, and approximately 216,000 dice were rolled, Trivium estimates the roll totaled 756,000. The truck was undamaged, having made its saving throw. As a German kid, I used to wonder why our radio stations like to play the American National Anthem so much. Until a friend explained to me that Country Roads, Take Me Home is not in fact your guys' national hymn. Maybe racist lolly1488 isn't a good person, but who am I to say? Maybe they run track and are an avid purveyor of Lolita fashion and have 14 children and were born in 1988. Did you ever consider that? The scales of Anubis shift. If you had to name this color as one of the two, which would it be? Green or blue? This is green. This is literally green. The closest furries ever came to mainstream acceptance was when audiences watched Beauty and the Beast and collectively went, hmm, bad, turn him back, when the human prince appeared. Seriously, what was so off? The lighting? The expression? Gonna start saying, you couldn't make X movie today, but for reasons unrelated to political correctness. You couldn't make Home Alone 2 lost in New York today because the strict airport regulations put into place after 9-11 make it nigh impossible for a child to simply walk onto the wrong plane. European comics. Well, there's these two guys who have been friends for 20 years. One of them writes the scripts and the other makes the art. American comics. The publisher wants us to crank out a new chapter every month, so we have one dude who writes it, another one plans the page layout and sketches, a third person inks the page, and fourth one colors it. And the fifth one is on the payroll just to fight the publisher about the requested edits and corrections. Japanese comics. The publisher wants us to crank out a new chapter every month, so we have just this one dude doing the whole damn thing on his own in a tiny apartment while slowly going insane. Mario and Bowser's rivalry after 30 years. Exists mostly just to uphold the status quo, instantly dissipates whenever the situation calls for it. Peach's kidnappings probably follow a very specific schedule and after every single one they all go out for coffee together. Luigi is unironically Junior's favorite babysitter. Sonic and Eggman's rivalry after 30 years. If you so much as breathe in my direction, I am literally going to kill you with my bare hands! Link and Ganondorf's rivalry after 30 years. We are inexorably tied together by fate and ideology. We are each other's opposite in the worst and most poetic way possible. We are enemies. We are brothers. We will destroy each other and the world around us over and over again. Samus and Ridley's rivalry after 30 years. By God, it's Samus Aaron with the steel chair! Today I learned, Charles Darwin married his first cousin with whom he had 10 children. Three died as infants and three were infertile. He was the first to raise the question if incest may cause weaknesses in offspring after studying inbred plants in his garden. Charles Darwin looking at his fucked up tomatoes. Oh shit, that me. Why do animals get zoomies and we don't? It's beaten out of you in elementary school. What does it mean when someone says they're pescatarian and vegan? Land animals are innocent of crime, but the fish have sinned. Weirdo little kids are my favorite kinds of people. She should lie face down on a skateboard and slide at people. Imagine you're an adult sitting at your front door handing out treats to the usual little vampires and witches and trademark superheroes and this giant horseshoe crab comes rolling up the front walk and then it stands up and there's this little girl inside it. Please stop adding, there are two kinds of people and that escalated quickly to text posts. There are two kinds of rapid escalation. Well, that people twicely. There were no cases of autism before 1930. Yeah, Mount Everest wasn't discovered till 1856, but I'm sure the fucking mountain still existed. Do you ever think about autistic medieval nuns? I'm pretty sure there were some. It's statistically impossible there weren't nuns that were on the spectrum. Other nuns at the monastery looking at them like, Sister Marjorie always looks to be in peace and so content with this life. Why cannot I be such a good nun as well? And then immediately start grieving about the sin of envy or some shit. Meanwhile, Marjorie has zero fucking idea that anyone is staring at her, busy thinking, Oh man, I sure fucking love having the same meal at the same time every single day, and then going back to my simple repetitive work where nobody fucking talks at me all day. Oh, Sister Marjorie is so dedicated during prayers and is so serene and quiet even through the longest prayers, no matter how challenging it is to not feel bored. Oh, I feel so ashamed. Sister Marjorie, clicking her prayer beads in perfect rhythm because fuck yes, stim time. Gosh, I sure love zoning out and entering my rich internal world where I go on wild adventures with all my favorite saints and Bible characters, slaying evil and wooing angels. Shout out to the guy in charge of the train station in my hometown, who doesn't limit himself to announcing trains, but also comments on interesting birds he sees on the platform. 
gives completely unofficial weather reports on what he thinks the day is going to be like. Refers to very crowded trains as friendly trains. Regularly congratulates everyone on having gotten up on time on Monday mornings. Basically seems to use the Tenoy system to amuse himself and try and brighten up everyone's morning commute. Refers to himself as the Fat Controller. What magical land do you live where there's something other than a robot in charge of the train announcing? What does this mean? That, my friend, is exactly the question you have to ask. It means that this is one of the best ways to pile up rocks and not have them fall down for a long time. If you're over 5'11", sorry, your pronouns are fee fi fo fum Listen here, you little shit. If you're under 5'11", sorry, your pronouns are oompa loompa doopa dee doo. College bully girl, you're such a teacher's pet. Kinky nerdy college girl, how did you know? Hey OP, what does this mean? It means I think my sociology professor is hot and I want her to pull me around on a leash. This is morally wrong. Reblog. Legally, it's questionable. Morally, it's disgusting. Personally, I like it. A very helpful garden assistant. You can't fool me, OP. I've seen the game. Okay, who wants to see him? I need to know. Him? Yes. Him. Banishment is the funniest punishment I can think of. Just get out of here. Dad passed this lady her drink and she said, Thank you, sir. Well, I guess I'm not allowed to say sir anymore, since it's a pronoun. And he literally just looked at her like this. He's now very worriedly asking me if he looks like a conservative. Siblingless riders. Hey, sis. Hey, little bro. I'm right and I should say it. Wait, how are people with siblings greeting each other then? Hey. Hey. Greetings, whore. Fortnite dances. Picking a college major based on a slight interest you kinda have is the equivalent of a kid telling Extreme Makeover Home Edition he kinda likes elephants or some shit and getting his bedroom turned into a wildlife sanctuary. If you don't kiss your cat on their tiny soft little forehead, what the fuck are you even doing? Yelling at her for trying to eat plastic. Why do they lose more actual pony resemblance with every generation? Those are not horses. 1800s pug? 2020s pug. Don't date people who make you feel like you have to hide your stuffed animals. This is, without exaggeration, probably the best dating advice I have ever seen. Nemo Bear was here before you, and I'll be here after you're gone, my dude. Why must it always be peppering? Why can't I salt my lover with kisses? Paprika my lover with kisses? Three tablespoons chili powder, two teaspoons ground cumin, one half teaspoons oregano my lover with kisses. Because you don't have one. I make one silly little post, and my own sister uses it to heckle me for being single. I'm leaving the internet forever. Sawi. I believed in God as a kid because I always felt so moved during worship songs at my megachurch, and then I went to a One Direction concert and felt the same thing, and realized I just like live music. This is the one though, because at church camps I would always start crying during some of the songs because I felt so moved, and they were all like, that's God telling you something. And then once I went to a live concert and I got the same feeling, I was so confused because it was like a Kelly Clarkson concert or some shit, and I was like, huh? What could God be trying to tell me here? Then some dude spilled beer on my leather jacket, and I was like, this cannot be God. It was only later reading something about how many religions, especially Christian or Catholic ones, play on how certain experiences make you feel like God is there, when really it's just something you really enjoy, and it takes so long to separate those two ideas and realize that feeling moved or having joy is not inherently something that comes from a heavenly creature. The funniest part of Death Note was when Light thought, the police are spying on me through cameras in my room. I need them to think I'm a normal high school boy. And then he proceeded to read a porn magazine for five minutes without cranking his chain, all while laying on his bed like this. If various companies think that pulling their content from Netflix so they can host their own streaming service will make them sign up to theirs, then they are wrong. It will just make me pirate their content again. If you identify with the Joker in any way, shape, or form, I'm gonna need you to get in your clown car and drive the fuck away from me, please. What if I'm the Joker but like Goofy 50's Joker where his plans evolve tricking the mayor into thinking he's on a high class vacation to Europe so he could impersonate him and pass silly laws in Gotham? You can stay. For now. Today I learned that millennial dads are spending three times as much time with their kids than their fathers spent with them. Back in 1982, 43% of fathers admitted they'd never change a diaper. Today, that number is down to about 3%. Millennials are killing the deadbeat dad industry. Posting on a blackboard discussion board and replying to two of your fellow students has to be one of the nine circles of hell. Great point, Dylan. 
I especially agree with it being one of the nine circles of hell. Well said. Once I was babysitting my neighbor's six-year-old and she asked me why I was so ugly and without thinking, I said, I'm you from the future. And she cried for like 30 minutes. All goofing aside, I generally don't understand the urge to reimagine Taylor Allison Swift as a secretly queer icon when the pop music scene is like literally overflowing with women who actually like women. Gaga and Kesha and Miley and Halsey are right there. Rina Sawayama and Hailey Kiyoko and Rebecca Black and Kalani and Victoria Monet and Mia Folick if you're willing to get slightly less top 100. Janelle and Demi for them non-binary takes on liking girls. Like, what are we doing here? Like, I'm not even saying you can't enjoy Taylor, but why would you hang all your little gay hopes on her? Isn't Lady Gaga bisexual? Yes, that is indeed why she's on the list of famous women who like women. Why have multiple people reblog this with some horse ass, um, actually, most of these people are by your pan? Did I fucking stutter? I said they like girls. What is your point? I'm going to kill you. POV, you make a good post and then encounter Tumblr reading comprehension. By the way, just to clarify for anyone who sees this reblog of this post, OP is basically saying something along the lines of, yeah, I know Taylor Swift is bi, but like, why is she all's only LGBTQ plus pop icon when there are all these other LGBTQ plus people in the pop scene? Hi, OP here. I certainly did not fucking say Taylor Swift is bi. They weren't lying. That reading comprehension is piss poor. If you Catholic motherfuckers were really so interested in God's design, you'd develop a theological appreciation of beetle biology. We really just say fucking anything on here, huh? British evolutionary biologist and genesist J.B.S. Haldane quipped that if a god or divine being had created all living organisms on Earth, then that creator must have an inordinate fondness for beetles. Beetles account for a greater number of species than any other single group of living animal. Approximately one out of every four animal species on Earth is a beetle. Charybdis would drown in the depths of your ignorance. I have a lot of pet peeves, but I think the biggest one is when people say things like, oh, it's such a small town, only 35,000 people. Like, bitch, my town has 200 people. You need to pick a new adjective. According to Wikipedia, a small town is 1,000 to 20,000 people. So although you are correct in saying that 35,000 people is not a small town, it is a large town, you are incorrect in thinking that you live in a town. You live in a village. You are a villager. I don't know what to do with that information. A villager? Zoomers, I'm going to give you some fatherly advice. Really plucked brows are coming back. Don't do it. You can permanently fuck them up, and in five years when it's not on trend, you will look like shit. A groomed natural brow works in every era of fashion. There's lots of ways to comb and style brows to trend without mangling them. I'm just saying this as someone who saw what happened to 80s moms who went crazy with the tweezers. They just eyebrows, you won't die. Shave them off. Zoomers, pluck them all out and then get tattooed eyebrows. It doesn't matter. You won't look like shit if you don't have eyebrows. OP is a hater. This is the devil. This is the devil speaking. Many will come to you with honey in their mouths and comforting words, but they whisper falsehoods. Do not be deceived, for he is the father of lies. You have been told he would come in the form of man, and he is already here among us. Today I learned that because of a mistranslation, Jimmy Carter told the Polish people in 1977 that he desired them carnally and that he had left the United States to never return. Imagine being a Polish citizen and you hear the American president say he's here to fuck and he's not leaving. There are real teens out there who think discovering Nirvana is a special achievement. Isn't that kind of the whole point of Buddhism? Imagine being straight. What music would I even listen to? The same kind of fucking music you listen to now, you fucking cran chewer? If at first you don't succeed, find out why. This is honestly better advice than, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. By all means, try again but do that after you figure out why you failed. Hate how they forced Bugs Bunny into anti-weed propaganda in the 90s, as if Bugs Bunny wouldn't love smoking weed. To be perfectly fair, Bugs Bunny would also love taking money for starring in anti-weed propaganda and then using said money to buy weed. Help, I read that as anti-weeb propaganda. Ice King is a really good character because they introduce him and you're like, haha, what a freak, what's wrong with him? And then the show goes, oh, you wanna know? Let me show you, smiley face. And you end up just sitting there like, holy fucking shit. Nobody told me that toddlers are this fucking easy to manage. They're like tiny drunk people, but on easy mode. They don't have phones or car keys, and they can't reach the stovetops. So it's a breeze to make sure they don't try to cook, drive, or text people who want both of you killed. And they're like half my size instead of twice my size. So if they're really hell bent on doing something dangerous, I can literally just pick them up and carry them away from it. Their tantrums last like three minutes tops, their punches don't hurt, and they don't even know any slurs. 
and they actually like and respect you enough to say they're sorry once they've calmed down, and you tell them they shouldn't have taken it out on you like that. And you can just say that to their face. Both will babble complete fucking nonsense at you, but little kids will talk about way more interesting stuff. They don't even start suspecting that you only understand every third word they're saying. This was supposed to convince me out of it, but small kids are hands down the easiest people I've ever had to handle. I want seven. You can literally always tell if an artist is or was a furry or not by asking them to draw a dog. Like this. Not a furry. Furry. Not a furry. Furry. Why are you booing me? I'm right. You labeled everyone at Disney a furry. Have you ever seen a Disney movie? Stop letting your heart and your pussy choose your men. I'm confused. What is left? Oh, never mind, Lamau, my brain. You right, sis, lol, you is right. You really forgot your whole brain. She read this post with her pussy. It's 2007. You're working on a PowerPoint for school. It's about ancient Egypt. You select the papyrus font. Yes, perfect. Humans have been giving their pets god names for millennia, not knowing that they actually bestow upon them the god's power, but it's divided amongst all pets with the same name, so ultimately quite harmless. This morning, by a quirk of fate, yours is the only cat named Zeus. Potential crisis prevented, my cat is already neutered. Money can't buy happiness is such a baby boomer concept, like, I don't want excessive wealth to buy a gold-plated toilet seat, Karen. I just wish I wasn't crying because I can't afford both spaghetti and rent after working 40 hours a week. Looking at the notes, I guess y'all are poor too, huh? When I was a kid, my grandpa was a Great Depression survivor and he wouldn't waste any amount of food. So he taught me I had to eat the apple core and I started eating the whole apple in grade school and the kids called me horse boy. This panel of Garfield was released on September 10th, 2001. He what? I've been a busy boy. Garf, colon three, heart, heart. He what? Could you hold for a moment? I have another call coming in. Thanks. The full strip. That makes it worse. One call from each tower. We're watching Big Hero 6 in my class, and we were at that part where Hero and Baymax were in the portal, and everyone is so quiet, except for my teacher who mumbles, if that fucking robot dies, I'm burning this movie. And he hit of 2015. RPG with metafictional elements that can be won with pacifism and challenges conventional RPG morality. Andy hit of 2017. Psychological horror game disguised as an anime dating simulator that deconstructs breaking the fourth wall. Andy hit of 2019. You are a goose who is also a bastard. The Emmys have been postponed indefinitely due to Hollywood Studios' refusal to meet the needs of actors and writers. Strikes are meant to be disruptive. SAG and the WGA are showing the resolve as billionaire owners refuse to budge. The Emmys haven't been delayed since 2001. Not my dumbass being like, wow, what happened in 2001 to delay the Emmys? We forgot. February shouldn't be 28 days, 29 on a leap year. Instead, we should take the 31st days off two months and give them to February, making it have 30 days for all years. But wait, when's the leap day, you ask? October 32nd, Halloween part two. You're the genius this generation needs, to be honest. Something something, One Piece porn parody, Come Come Fruit, and post. Reddit downvote. Reddit gold. I'm 25 and sometimes it still hits me that I can do whatever I want. Man, I wish I could go to the zoo. Wait. Please go to the zoo if you want. I'm a zoo docent and I love talking to grown-ups who are visiting the animals and want to know all about them. You can buy yourself stuff in the gift shop too, if you have the money. Don't need to ask a grown-up or anything. If you want that toy gorilla, it's yours. That's the dangerous part. I now have to tell the five-year-old in my brain we have $20. He can see in my wallet. He knows I'm lying. Young Chinese are too fat and masturbate too much to pass army fitness tests. 77% of young Americans too fat, mentally ill, on drugs, and more to join military Pentagon study finds. One struggle. We are more alike than we are unalike. I hate when female is the only grammatically correct term for woman in a sentence because I literally feel like an incel. My female manager is shorter than my manager who's a woman, but at what cost? My girl boss? Well, now I know it could be worse. Say what you want about Reddit, but the fact that lets you sort by controversial so you can see people fighting each other is a perfect feature. 
Humans don't have enough ornamentation. Where's the plumage? The antlers? I could go for a good vibrant throat sack I could display as I sing in the mating season. Humans have some of the most extreme hair variation over their bodies in the animal kingdom. With hair on some parts of our body a few millimeters long and fine enough to be almost invisible, and hair in other parts a good meter long if not artificially trimmed. Part of the inside of our mouths are turned out to make our lips bright red, we have comically oversized breasts and lack penis bones to make erections more indicative of impressive circulation, and have some of the most complex behavioral adaptations to self-ornamentation for courtship seen in anything that doesn't spend half its life collecting blue bottle caps. How much ornamentation do you want? I'd like antlers, as previously stated. Telepathic aliens enjoy that humans will play music for hours at a time. When it's too mentally quiet on deck, they just announce the catchiest song titles they know and the humans will start thinking about it automatically. The humans hate this so, so much. Human Steve, can you please play that song I like? The one with all the females? What? A little bit of Monica in my life. Mother f- 300 year old Chinese abacus ring was used during the Qing dynasty to help traders. 18th century Chinese teenager voice. Haha, -ha, and teacher said we wouldn't have a calculator with us everywhere we go. When you're in your bee suit and you feel sweat running down your back, that's fine. If you feel sweat running up your back, that's a bee. Some beekeeping advice my mom gave me today. I thought bee suit meant like a bee costume until I read the word beekeeping. Me, as my laptop fan suddenly becomes louder, what is it? What program? Who is doing this to you? Opening task manager. Who do I need to kill? Do deaf people understand puns? Are there some combinations of sign language which are hilariously ambiguous? Signing the word milk when moving it past your eyes is pasteurized milk. Past your eyes milk. That's appalling. Have a like. A soulmate is a person that won't complain about any of my music when I put my iPod on shuffle. I complain about my own music when it's on shuffle. What are you talking about? Sorting hat quizzes be like, how do you brush your teeth? A, bravely. B, while making a sandwich. C, while reading a book. Or D, I'm a snake. He's behind me making that fucking face again. I don't even have to turn around and know it. God damn it. I hate that goddamn stupid face he makes. God fucking damn it. For extra cash, consider robbing sex offenders. Their address is easy to find, and they can't own guns. Only downside is, politicians usually have good security. Jeff. I don't know if to laugh or cry. There are actually only two genres of high fantasy. Once there were more dragons and more magic in this land, but those days have passed. Perhaps the dragons shall return someday and bring a new era. How the fuck do we get rid of these fucking dragons? Today I learned humans are bioluminescent and glow in the dark, but the light that we emit is 1000 times weaker than our human eyes are able to pick up. Forget every product from the beauty industry, I want to know how to increase my natural bioluminescence. When vampires are portrayed as mainly preying on women, that's so unrealistic. Like, I'm sorry, but they're too careful, especially around strange men. Dudes are much easier. You could literally lurk in a bush in the park at night and call out, Whoa, look at this fucked up looking squirrel! And have three grown men climb in immediately. Deer season is upon us. One, wear your seatbelt. Two, if your choice is swerve at high speed or hit the deer, you plow Bambi's mom like you're an IT specialist with a secret Twitter account in its Anthrocon weekend. Deer are softer than trees. Deer are softer than rolling your car eight times. Swerve for moose. Moose are harder than trees. Moose are harder than rolling your car eight times. Moose can take the top half of a car clean off. With sincerity. I'm so sick of people saying water doesn't taste. Water fucking tastes. Well, what does it taste like then? You know, the place where I last worked wanted to use our reading room as backdrop for a filmed interview. We had a very pretty reading room. On the day the film crew was there, the audio guy came over to my desk, which was at the edge of the space, and said, Look, you can keep working because you're not doing anything too loud, but in a minute I'm going to go over there and call for silence for 10 to 20 seconds. And during that time, I knew you do not make any noise. And I went, well, sure. But he clearly felt a little uncomfortable telling me not to move at my own desk, so he explained, The purpose of those 20 seconds is to record the silence in the room. It's so they have a patch that can edit silence over some extraneous background noise later. The phone ringing, me getting an email, the toilet flushing the bathroom next door, the elevator coming and going, noisy student group, etc. But the point was, they can't just slap any old silence over a recording done in a certain room. They have to use the sounds from that room, or it will be jarring on a subliminal level to the people listening. Because silence has a sound, and it's a little different everywhere you hear it. 
That's what water tastes like. I've probably said this before, but I love the Twilight Zone episodes with no quantifiable moral at the end. They just wrap up like, wouldn't it be fucked up if that happened? Everyone's saying Black Mirror? No. The whole point of Black Mirror is that it's rife with unwanted morals. No! I don't want to be told how technology is making us distant and how helicopter parenting makes kids hate you. I want, what if astronauts found their own dead bodies on a random planet and had a breakdown for a full episode, then realize they're dead for real, and then forget and do it all again forever? Wouldn't that be fucked? I'm Rod Serling. I'm done gardening for today. I'm not even killing him. He looks like he fights back. Bro fell for the markings. Oldest trick in the book. I love old science fiction because it's all like, it's the distant year 2003 and man is exploring the deep corners of the universe. Like, God bless you old sci-fi, you had such high hopes for us. Sometimes I go to myself, you know, I don't understand what NFTs are. And then I go look it up again and discover, yes, actually I do know what NFTs are. It's just that every time I read about them again, I'm left going, this can't be it. There has to be something else to make this make sense. And the answer is always no. It's a real life plot hole. Skeleton of Cave Bear in Bear's Cave, Romania. Wonder why it's called that. This sent me down a massive historical rabbit hole. But long story short, it's called Romania because there were once Romans there. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who had practiced one kick 10,000 times. Bruce Lee. Harry Potter, the boy who dared to ask, why study all these other spells if I can get really good at eating everyone's wands out of their hands? Does COVID fuck up your gag reflex? Are you having trouble in the men's room? I'm eating sausages and they're just sliding down their hole like never before. Can we meet up? My friend told me last night that he gets girls to come back to his place by telling them, oh, I can't wait to go home and have some stew, and I'm so hungry, good thing I have stew at home, and it's worked every time. Bro, the worst part is, last night I went to his place, and it's 11pm, and I'm sitting there eating fucking stew like, god damn it, it worked on me too. This dude's place? Girls, some free stew. Found a paper I wrote in 5th grade that I got an F on. My prompt was, imagine you were sitting on a cloud, what would you do or see? I wrote, I would see the ground as I fell because I would fall through it because in science you told us that clouds were just water mists. There are real teens out there who think discovering nirvana is a special achievement. Isn't that kind of the whole point of Buddhism? This post is slowly killing me. According to last week's Torah Parsha, God built a specialized enclosure for the first human. God then got concerned about the first human's well-being and tried to provide the first human with enrichment. God finally gave up and brought home a second human to keep the first one company. The humans got into the food that they weren't supposed to have while God was out. God came back to find the humans covered in leaves and trying to avoid God. God decided that since the humans couldn't be trusted not to break into the food, it was better to send them outside. Conclusion: We are all God's outdoor cats. Now watch him take no responsibility as we wreak havoc on the local environment, have loud sex at night, and die of transmissible diseases and in traffic accidents. God is an irresponsible pet owner. If the right way is too hard, fuck it. Do it the wrong way. Folding clothes keeps you from getting the laundry done? Stop folding clothes. Put a basket in your room and throw your unfolded clean stuff into it right out of the dryer. It's fine. Rinsing dishes off keeps you from loading the dishwasher? Load them dirty and run it twice. Chopping onions keeps you from making yourself dinner? Buy the freezer bags of chopped onions. You forget to take your meds and don't want to get out of bed to get them? Start putting them next to the bed. Can't keep up with the dishes? Get paper plates. Worried about environmental impact? Order biodegradable ones online if your local store doesn't have one. Make the task easier. Put things where you use them instead of where they go. Eliminate the steps that keep you from finishing the task. Eliminate the task that is stressing you out. Do it the wrong way. It's literally fine. Listen, I know each actor brings their own spice to a role, but I just can't take Timothy Chalamet's Wonka seriously. Where is the madness behind his eyes? The malice? The complete disregard for the laws of mankind and decency? This man makes me fear that I'll be shoved into a taffy machine at the slightest provocation. As he should. I put my phone down and can't find it. A saga. Want me to call it? It's on silent. A tragedy in three parts. I'll call it anyway. Everyone stands around really quietly listening for a faint buzzing noise. A comedy. Fuck you. Runs your cast iron pan through a dishwasher cycle. My standing. 
Which is sexier, a werewolf or a vampire? Depends if you find it sexier to submit to the will of charismatic evil or to be overwhelmed by animalistic power. And that's not a decision I can make for you. Pro tip for writing military characters, do not give them a badass nickname. Literally every military nickname is either an insult or a reminder of an embarrassing incident. For example, my nickname was Firehose because I once got really drunk and pissed myself. I'm not ashamed to admit this because everyone I knew with a nickname had a similarly embarrassing origin. Mine was a rat because I was short, poor in the army, and ugly. Me. How old were you? American. Oh, I was a freshman. Me. And European. I still have no idea how old you were. Someone from the UK. I'm in sixth form. Me. How many regenerations do you have left? It can be difficult to understand just how routine-oriented cats can be if you've never owned one. If my oven timer goes off and I'm slow responding to it, my cats will run and fetch me and lead me right to it. Because the beepy thing means the human is supposed to go into the kitchen. And are they the only ones around here who give a damn about the rules? One night my partner decided to stay up and play video games whilst I got an early night. And the cat responded to this by running from the bedroom to the living room, yelling. Because only one human had gone to bed. And so is it bedtime or not, humans? Make up your minds. This is no way to run a household.